over the desktop channel viewers, today we had the honor to connect with someone in the past and interview him, a president of the United States of America, the 16th president of the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President Abraham Lincoln. Mr. President, thank you for taking the time to be interviewed. It's okay, it's nice to talk to my fellow Americans again. Mr. President, recently, America has experienced divisiveness and conflicts, which although it is not as bad as the Civil War, but it is enough to be our concern. What do you think about it? A house divided against itself cannot stand. This was a quote from my famous house divided speech that I gave in 1858. In this speech, I was referring to the issue of slavery, but the message is still relevant today. I believe that a nation that is divided cannot effectively govern itself or achieve its full potential. What do you think are some of the causes of this divisiveness? I think that one of the main causes of divisiveness is a lack of empathy and understanding between people who hold different views. When people are unable or unwilling to listen to one another and understand each other's perspectives, it can create a lot of tension and hostility. Do you have any suggestions for how we can overcome this divisiveness? Yes, I believe that we need to focus on what unites us rather than what divides us. We need to find common ground and work together towards a shared vision for the future. As I said in my first inaugural address, we are not enemies but friends. We must not be enemies. Though passion may have strained, it must not break our bonds of affection. What can individuals do to help reduce divisiveness? I think that it's important for individuals to take responsibility for their own actions and attitudes. We need to be willing to listen to others with an open mind and to treat others with respect even when we disagree with them. As I said in another famous quote, do I not destroy my enemies when I make them my friends? Do you have any final thoughts on this topic? Yes, I would just like to say that the unity of our nation is essential to our success and our survival. As I said in my Gettysburg Address, our country was founded on the principle that all men are created equal and that we are all entitled to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If we can hold fast to these principles and work together towards a common goal, I believe that we can overcome our differences and build a better future for ourselves and for generations to come. Thank you so very much indeed. Happy to do it. Watch our Over the Desktop channel and find the good news, knowledge and wisdom through our talk show, interviews and information on the top stories, science and technology, business ideas, entertainment, politics, and more.